the God who healeth thee. Oh, that you only trust in me. You are the seed by faith receive the blessing of Abraham. The blessing of Abraham. Welcome to the good life. Taking the path to greatness with your radio pastor, Pastor Tina LaFleur of Change Ministries International, P.O. Box 2311, Downey, California, 90242. Our telephone number is 562-398-3366. That's 562-398-3366. Now get ready to position yourself in the good life. Here is Pastor Tina LaFleur. Good morning, everyone out there. Uh, right now, I want to give all glory and honor to God in the highest. And also, I want to acknowledge our radio engineer, Mr. Thomas Blackwell. All right, let's pray and get on with our topic this morning. Dear Heavenly Father, we come before you in the name of Jesus, Lord. And, Father, right now, I ask you by your spirit to touch each and every one of us, Father. Right now, Father, fill me, Lord, to, with your Holy Spirit to overflow, that they hear not me but you, Lord. May I decrease and you increase, Father, in me. Speak through me. Think through me. Hallelujah. Touch, Lord. Deliver, Lord. Oh, Lord, get the hearts and minds ready to receive all that you have for them this morning right now father i come against the spirit of suicide and depression and oppression right now in the name of jesus i command you to leave right now everyone in the sound of my voice in the name of jesus i lose your spirit of freedom peace joy and happiness in the holy spirit i thank you lord for your love that surrounds them lord and let them know that they are loved right now in jesus name send your healing lord right now in jesus name lord heal deliver regulate the mind lord in jesus name oh lord send your peace in jesus name amen okay now our topic this morning is you are by no means a mistake. Okay, now to even think that you are a mistake, you are saying that the Bible is a book of fairy tales. To think that you are a mistake is to say that there is no God. To think that you are a mistake, have you not considered how your heart keeps on beating? Your lungs keeps on breathing, how your eyes keep on seeing, or how your ears are causing you to hear this radio broadcast. Just to think that you are a mistake is oh so far from the truth. Just the fact that your heart is beating, your lungs are breathing, your ears are hearing right at this moment is such an infallible proof that you are so extremely and passionately loved by God, your creator, the creator of the heavens and the earth. For it is God who says that you are fearfully and wonderfully made. Let's read this in Psalms chapter 139, verses 13 through 16. And it says, For you... Form my inward parts. You covered me in my mother's womb. I will praise you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are your works and that my soul knows very well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in secret and skillfully wroth in the lowest part of the earth. Your eyes saw my substance being yet unformed and in your book. They all were written, the days fashioned for me, when as yet there were none of them. Yes, 
Just look at yourself and see and feel how much God loves you. He took time to make you. How awesome is his works in you? And in verse 16, let's look at that again. You see, it says your your eyes, God's eyes saw your substance being yet unformed. And in your books, God's book, they all were written. That is the day's fashion for you. When as yet there were none of them. Wow. Hallelujah. This says that every day was fashioned or made for you. I'm going to say that again. Every day was fashioned and made for you before one day took place. That is before God laid the foundations of the heavens and the earth. God had you in mind. Let's look at Ephesians. Okay. Turn to Ephesians chapter one. Verses three through six. And it says, blessed be the God and father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places in Christ, just as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world that we should be holy without blame before him in love, having predestined us to adoption as sons by Jesus Christ to himself according to the good pleasure of his will, to the praise of the glory of his grace by which he made us accepted in the beloved. Hallelujah. Not only did God create create you, but he chose you and blessed you with every spiritual blessing, just as he chose you and I in him before the foundation of the world. Let's look at Romans Chapter 4, verse 13, it says, For the promise that he would be the heir of the world was not to Abraham or to his seed through the law, but through the righteousness of faith. So through faith, hallelujah, we will receive, hallelujah, the promise of to be heirs of the world. So God has created the world for you and I. And we receive this by faith. And because we know all your days, because he knew all your days before he laid the foundation of the heavens and the earth. He, God, has made all provision for you. And you can you receive that by faith. Faith is believing God's word as truth. It's as simply as that. Now, let's ch- turn to Matthew chapter six. Okay. Matthew chapter 6, verse 25 through 33. And it reads, therefore, I say unto you, this is Jesus talking to you. Therefore, I say unto you, do not worry about your life, what you shall eat or what you will drink, nor about your body, what you will put on. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the air, for they neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns, yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not more valued than they? Which of you by worrying can add one cubit to his stature? So why do you worry about clothing? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They neither toil nor nor spin. And yet I say unto you that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Now, if God so clothes the grass of the field, which today is and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, will he not much more clothe you, O you of little faith? Therefore, do not worry, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? For after all these things the the Gentile seeks, for your heavenly Father knows that you that you need all these things, but seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. Yes, you are by no means a mistake. This is an absolute lie. Okay, stop listening to the devil and receive the truth. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. God has made all provision for you by faith and the, his word, the word of God which you've heard this morning that I'm speaking to you right now. Now pray with me. Say, thank you, God. 
That's right. Thank you, God, for sending your son, Jesus Christ. As my Lord and Savior, Jesus, I receive you now as my Lord and Savior. Thank you for providing all my needs met right now. I will seek your kingdom. That is your way of doing things. And I know that you have already provided and you care for me and my family. Jesus, thank you for dying on the cross for me. In Jesus' name, amen. Wow. I hope you prayed that prayer with me. God has a wonderful life for you. And I want to invite you to a Bible, my Bible study. Yes, to my Bible study. Come out and learn how to seek first the kingdom with me, Pastor Tina. Okay, that will be every Tuesday night, every Tuesday at from 7 to 8.30, beginning October 11th. October 11th, that's this Tuesday. And this is the address, 12110 Front Street. That's F-R-O-N-T Street. That's in Norwalk, N-O-R-W-A-L-K, California, 90650. The address again is 12110 Front, F-R-O-N-T Street, in Norwalk, California, 90650. Okay, and that's every Tuesday night. And also, I will be the guest speaker at Blessed Revelations Ministries with Pastor Raymond Long, and that will be on October 30th on a Sunday at 3.30. And the address there is 12110 East Firestone, F-I-R-E-S-T-O-N-E Boulevard in Norwalk. All right. Again, that's October 30th, Sunday at 1.30 at Blessed, Min- Blessed Revelations Ministries with Pastor Raymond Long. Okay, and that's 12110 East Firestone Boulevard in Norwalk, 90650. Okay, all right, thank you. And call me for prayer at 310-674-5896. Okay, right now, 310-674-5896. This is your radio pastor, Pastor Tina LaFleur. I love you. I want to see you at my Bible study, okay, and continue listening, and I hope that I'm being a blessing and that you're growing in God with me. In Jesus' name, I thank you. Bye-bye. We would love to hear from you with your praise reports, comments, and your love gifts and donation to keep this broadcast on air. And to receive a free CD of this broadcast, write to Change, C-H-A-N-G-E-D, Ministries International, P.O. Box 2311, Downey, D-O-W-N-E-Y, California, 90242. Or call 562-398-3366. Or email Pastor Tina at Tina LaFleur at yahoo.com. That's T E N A L E F L O R E at yahoo.com. Thanks for listening to Welcome to the Good Life, Taking the Path to Greatness with your radio pastor, Pastor Tina LaFleur.